Hey guys, How's how are you doing today? Um, so we decided to go live today. We've got Sayla here. Jason. And Casey. Yeah. If you guys didn't know already, some of you I know are new here. So um, we just wanted to say hi and introduce Hello. ourselves. Today we're just going to talk some gardening and family and we're willing to also take any of your questions. Yeah, yeah. we'd like to kind of start doing, I'd say at least one a week. At yeah. Least, right. So mm -hmm. that we can field questions, uh, especially yeah. once we get more into the gardening season. And yeah. I feel like I'm sitting at a, at a news desk here. <laughs> Today we are news. recording, <laughs> <laughs> which is like all we see right now, right? So right now we're just seeing a lot of the news blasting a lot of, you know, we all know it. The word is coronavirus right now. And uh, today's Jason's birthday. And yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're happy kinda, birthday to myself. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And we're kind of celebrating it a little differently too. We usually, you know, buy a cake for Jason's birthday. And, Order pizza. Um, yeah. Or go out to eat somewhere, but we'll be doing everything homemade today. We've got From supplies home. to make pizza. We've got supplies to make cake. So make a cake. I guess I'm baking a cake. Yeah. Today. <laughs> yeah. And then it, it is supposed to get, we're, we're in Wisconsin. It is pretty cold out and rainy, gloomy all right now, but it's supposed to warm up later. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably go outside and play a little bit later today. Explore so. a little bit, take the kids out with like some buckets and find some little treasures out there. Let them make some like little uh, nature projects. And um, the kids now are out of school and I don't even know for how long now. Yeah. It sounds like it'll be the rest of the year. Yeah. So, you know, Sayla, she's, she's not in school yet. She will be starting next, next year. And Lana is actually, Lana has, she had strep throat and scarlet yeah. fever last week, and now she's had a sore throat this week. So she's actually in her room right now. She doesn't yeah. feel well. So. so we've actually been kind of staying quarantined, too, just in case. I mean, you never know. Right. So so hey, everybody who's joined. Thanks yep. for, uh, hey for, for joining. They're all saying um, happy birthday. Yeah. Hey. Well, thank you. We'll definitely keep the smiles <laughs> on our faces. And Yep. Jason's enjoying his last year of his 30s this year. Yeah, I'm 39. Yep. I was telling Casey this morning, <laughs> periodically throughout the year, and even this morning I had to do it as soon as I first woke up. I forget how old that I am. You know, it's always like by a year, you know, so I wasn't 100% sure that I was 39 today, it could have been 40, so I had to go on my phone, type yeah. in 2020, and then 1981, the year that I was born, and okay, lo and behold, I am 39. Well, there you go, he got good. some good news, that's a happy birthday to him. Yeah, still got a, another good year on there. But so. yeah, and we didn't do birthday gifts, because we're gonna just, you know, my gift to Jason is a cake and pizza, homemade, this, right. this year. We're trying to just, you know, budget ourselves a little bit, because you just don't know what it's gonna do with our financials right. and you know um our big garden projects are still um in the plan but you know we also have to wait to see kind right. of you yeah know, we'll, we'll plant everything i mean we've already you know as you've seen yeah. we've got a greenhouse and a, and a house full of of seeds and microgreens and everything that's pretty much yeah. going to be going in our gardens casey's already got going in the greenhouse so we'll have all of that stuff we'll be able to do our our gardening as usual, but, yeah, but you know, additional if, projects, yeah. you know, depending on what happens here, um, could possibly be on yep. hold, but we'll still have hey, the Gina. garden. So, um, good to see you. <laughs> Eileen. Oh, Hi, Eileen from the UK. Good to see you. Yep. Thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. And thanks for joining us today. I figure we might as well get together with you guys today because, uh, I think we're all getting kind of cooped up a little bit. Um, if you guys want in the comment in the comments area there, if you want to tell us um, some of the things that you guys have had to change, whether you're social distancing or staying home or whether you're still having to go to work right now, Jason and I are working from home, which yep. I always do, but Jason tends to go yeah. into the office. Normally so. I go into the office. Most of the stuff that I can do, I, I can do from home aside from meeting with people I did have a meeting on Monday that I had to kind of treat a little bit differently. You know, we had to keep the the six foot buffer in place and couldn't handshake and things like that. But it's yeah. you know kind of the the new norm during during this time. But so. it's just really crazy to even see like you know, like I said already, the schools closing, um, weddings being canceled. Yeah. And we do go into detail on that on the podcast. If you guys didn't know, we started a podcast a little bit ago. Sayla, 
She looks like she's going on a trip. <laughs> Sela, there's no going anywhere. You can't go out of the country right now. <laughs> she's got her little, come here, Sela. Bring it over here. She's got her Minnie Mouse her Minnie Mouse She's suitcase. She's got her suitcase. Her. She's ready to go on a trip, but we're not going anywhere. <laughs> so Nan, Nan, go. Where do you uh, where do you work that you uh, are still going to work? Sorry, I'm. <laughs> I'm like. What's I, was, I was actually waiting for like uh, <laughs> somebody to talk through the computer there, we and need uh, the interaction. I think we we're need all. The social we're all a little out of it here. So, um, and does anybody else have? If you if you see my hands here, they look like they're they're, they're pretty much like covered He's in all oiled down. Vaseline right now. I've I've been washing my hands, you know, at least Non-stop. I mean probably like thirty times a day, and they yeah. are super dry. So I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah. So um, you guys may have seen the video that we did last week too. Um, or. Sunday. On Sunday, we put it out. It was on us seeding our microgreens. So those are actually doing really well and they're getting bigger. Um, if you want to tell them a little bit about like what we've been doing with them, I'll go grab some. Sure. Okay. So we seeded, yeah, we seeded the microgreens on Sunday, right? Yeah. Sunday morning. And they, they you know, I would say within a week, they're going to grow, you know, probably about this height. And pretty soon we'll be able to snip them and eat them. So here are these the broccoli? Yep, ones? these are the broccoli ones. So here's the broccoli ones. They look really nice, green, healthy. They're probably um, two to two and a half inches tall right now. Um, I'd say maybe only one inch. One. So they'll probably grow to the point where they're sticking above the uh, the tray here, and then we can snip them. Yeah. So it's a hemp mat that they're growing on. See, no soil. Yep. And is, is that really the roots? Is yeah. All, wow. That's all of the roots. So those are all the roots. So they grow super quickly. Say love. Yeah. yeah. And microgreens are super, um, super healthy for you. So, you know, we were kind of like, ooh, smells like broccoli. <laughs> yeah. We were kind of like, you know, in kind of a frenzy because they're kind of like showing like grocery shelves being empty and all this chaos. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we need medicine. We need vitamins. And I'm like, wait a minute, you know, like, yeah, let's just, that's we've right. got microgreen seeds. Let's get them rolling again. Yeah, we, so. were, we were talking about, that was the one thing we were kind of doing an inventory of our vitamins. And that's when Casey said we have microgreen seeds. And it's like, yeah, that's actually for us. We would probably be waiting um, seven days anyways to get these through Amazon or yeah. maybe even longer. Groceries. Yeah. yeah it's it's yep. crazy. Here Sorry, right my, my hands here. Are and, really... um, you know, it's like not that many people have it, but the numbers do go up every day here. Um, but the thing is, is that I just think we're just playing it safe. Really. Right, right. You know, we don't have it that we know of right now, but I'm not going to go, you know, hang out with my parents. You know, you don't know because 14 days ago I was at Target. So... Yeah, exactly. You know, and my mom and dad, they're, you know, 70 and my mom has had those heart issues. So it's like, yeah. I'm just going to play it safe. Like, yeah, we are kind of, we're stuck with each other. Good thing we like each other. <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to make the best of this. I yeah. mean, we're, you know, we're yeah. going to make the best of this. So I, I see uh, Miss um, PL Make or Plamake or, you know, somebody started a new job at a greenhouse. That's really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. How are you liking that? <laughs> um, speaking of uh, the greenhouse too, um, my parents, they're getting their nursery ready, Wayne Stars Greenhouses, and um, they still have some of their workers coming, but they actually had to kind of, they schedule them on different schedules and different days, and they actually break them up into different greenhouses, doing different jobs independently. So that way, you know, they're kind of social distancing them in within greenhouses and then that way you know there's not a big group of people working together because my parents and the rest of my family have already been social distancing and quarantined themselves to their homes and sure. just the greenhouse business yep. so so we do a uh, question from victoria waters uh, she asked <clears throat> will we have any of the videos from your parents greenhouse like we did last year and we don't, unfortunately, this year, they, they actually started their own YouTube channel. So Casey yep. was doing all of their social media for them last year, and as well as for our company and designing our Parade of Homes models. But she decided that this year she really wanted to focus on 
on our to our YouTube channel and everything that that we're doing. So yeah. she's not um, recording or editing those videos anymore, but they do have their own YouTube yep, channel. Yep, you can go check it out. It's Wayne's Daughter's Greenhouses, and um, if you want to visit there, um, yep. So that's yep. You know, that's what that is. That and and I've actually I really needed to kind of get all the extracurriculars off of my plate because. It was just, it was get, becoming like too much and too stressful. And with this business, it was starting to grow. So I had to choose what made me the most happy and what my ultimate goal was. And um, that's where it came in, where I stopped home designing for the home building company. I stopped doing social media and video editing for the greenhouse company and um, just focusing here and sharing, you know, what we do in the garden and being able to spend more time with the family and not being as stressed, um, as stressed out. And I, I'm just so much happier, so much happier. And I, I loved what I did, but I'm just so sure. much happier now. So. Um, so someone asked, how's the uh, temperature outside here? So right now it is about, what does it say on the... It doesn't say what's going on. <laughs> it's about 40 degrees, but it is supposed to get up 46. to 46. So it's supposed to get up to about 60 degrees later today. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely going to go outside and it's been raining yeah. and it's been kind of gloomy, but kind of gloomy. it'll be nice to get outside and kind of just yeah. run around and, yeah. you know, play a little bit. So, yeah. And I actually went outside to check the seedlings today. And when I opened up, went to go open up the greenhouse door, like okay. I swear I heard somebody like, shuffling on the gravel in the greenhouse so i i was like so scared i opened up the door and i didn't even step in i'm just like looking like under the benches and i'm like i thought somebody was in there but there was no way anybody could be in there and so when i went in there i just i was i was freaked out i came back in yep, i checked she, the seedlings though i did check the seedlings there the fine. seedlings were, were good nobody's but after that i was like Pew! out of there yep, she so does scared. like to watch those haunted uh mystery shows and <laughs> And she was, really she was watched. watching, but yesterday she had a couple of them on. So that was know, the first time since Halloween time that I watched <laughs> <laughs> anything is, but... haunted. And I had that, I didn't even have that in my mind. That was just, you Wow. Know. So Travis says it's supposed to be 80 degrees here tomorrow. So oh, where are you? So I assume lucky. somewhere a little bit further down south. So that's, that sounds that's amazing. Cool. And, um, wherever it is that you're at, if you could also tell us if you're getting your garden started and, um, central Florida, 90 degrees. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's, <clears throat> that's nice. It's a little hot for my liking, but, um, right I'd off the bat, it. at least right yeah. off the bat, we want to ease, ease into this, ease into, that, ease into yeah. this a little bit. Yeah. So. Yep. So if you guys have any other questions for us, um, feel free to put Southern them on Maryland. the, okay. on the side over there, Southern Maryland. Very cool. Yeah. So oh. the next thing that we'll be doing in our gardens, actually planting up out there are going to be peas. Peas. Yeah. And that'll probably be in about another week. I know last year is around like April 1st that we did it. So yeah. Yep. I'm I, looking forward to getting some, some, yeah. uh, so what, so last year was the earliest that we ever seeded peas and they didn't produce until they normally do for us, which is usually like the first week in July, like around like the 4th of July, maybe a couple days after. And they did produce around the same time, even though we seeded them earlier, but I have to say that they produced more peas than ever. So growing them earlier doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have them earlier. For, from True. our experience, right. it just means that they're going to produce more because they are more of that cold crop and they germinate and grow better in cooler temperatures. Yeah. It, so that's it was we're... nice though to look out the window or to go outside and see some yeah. green coming up out of the boxes. So last year we cleared all of our, our raised beds and gardens in the fall time like we always yeah. did. And during the winter time, I mean, we've got all these big raised beds just lined up out there. It looks like a bunch of coffins. It, oh. To me, that's, you know, like a, a winter wasteland with a bunch of coffins out there. So this year, this year we left everything in, which was so cool. It was beautiful. Big sunflowers. Um, we probably have some of that in our, in our videos, but we left everything in the gardens. We got a lot of birds that were attracted to, uh, to the gardens throughout the yeah, winter. Yeah, like especially with like the sunflowers we kept up, they were able to come in and land and eat. And we had other feeders as well, but it was just really cool. I, I feel like they were coming in too, just to grab materials. 
Um, but we did just do the cleanup, as you guys may have saw in a new video. Yeah, our last video, right? Yeah. Cleanup? Yep. Um, no, the one before that. One before that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that yeah. was so much fun being able to get outside and just, um, so just enjoy the garden. Someone asked, um, what are you trellising your peas on? <clears throat> Are we going okay. to trellis the peas this year? Um, we didn't last nope, year. Nope, we're not because um, our favorite variety is called Maxigolt. Um, it's a shelling pea and um, it has larger peas in it, about seven to eight per pod. And they actually don't need to be trellised. You can, but they don't get super crazy tall. Probably about hmm, one to two feet at the very most. Um, but they always state that you don't have to trellis that variety. And that's what I like about them is Perfect. keep it simple. So Travis, we are in Southeastern Wisconsin. Um, we've got another question here. How do you track what you plant slash seed? Do you have a master Excel spreadsheet or what's your method for that? Um, it's all right here. I, I, uh, what's your <laughs> method for the madness? Um, well, I guess, <laughs> Um, I just, <laughs> there is really no, <laughs> what's your method for the madness miss? <laughs> well, um, I don't really have, uh, an exact method. I, I keep it all pretty much up here. I, um, if you don't know my background or my history, I grew up as a child, um, on my parents' vegetable farm. So it just almost like in embedded in my mind of what comes next. And once we're clear of frost, that's pretty much when I go ahead and just plant everything. We also directly seed about, I would say half of our garden, Yeah, half of our gardens directly seeded. Yep. And more and more every year. It yeah. seems like this year it's yeah. a it's, lot of it is. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit of it. So she, and sorry, I was reading comments. So if you didn't say this already, yeah. you know, a lot of times she'll go out there and she'll just kind of stand you know, looking at everything, mm -hmm. all the raised beds, and then she'll and don't just start, bother me when I'm doing she'll that. start, you know, <laughs> you know, laying, laying things out, you know, in patterns and just kind of as she sees them, moving them around, almost like yeah. she knows, you know, what, what it's going to look like yeah, and I know in that, the future. And she's setting it up that way. Yeah. So. And I know that most gardeners have like an exact plan and exact design and they I have it drawn know. out. They have it written out. They have it labeled with letters and numbers. I, I don't do that. Um, the reason for that is because gardening is a huge part of my creativity as well as, you know, just being a garden for food. I love it to be edible. I love it to be pretty in a space that we can hang out in, spend family time in and a place where our kids can learn in. Um, so when I'm out there, I just love designing. Everything just comes to me. And I always say, Jason, give me 48 hours of, you know, Stay at home, dad. <laughs> get the kids and get the <laughs> heck out of here. No, it's not like that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, as long as I have that time, like they still come in and I, I let the girls help me seed or whatever. But when I'm like out there doing that, I really need a lot of that time to just imagine and um, see it. And that's pretty much my process. I do what I love. I plant what makes me happy. And um, we find things that sometimes don't work. We find things that do work and we document that in everything. If you guys um, are, are new or kind of new, even within the past few months or even the past year, we document everything in our gardens from start to finish, um, even to maintaining and everything within our um, garden blog yep. uh, playlist. Our garden, our garden blog playlist actually shows Everything from start to finish, even in between with the yep. maintaining. Going years back now, a couple yeah. years back. So Yep. So, um, and even in the garden playlist, that's where you find more of like the how-to videos and lessons. But um, I really prefer loving just showing what we're doing rather than um, doing a lot of lessons. Even though every time we do a video, it turns out to be a lesson right. because it's like, oh, yeah, okay, well, we're doing this today. We're always doing something in the garden. Right. And it always seems to be a lesson for someone. And that's really nice. But we still will continue to always put out how to videos and, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, so how close do we grow our tomatoes? Um, I would say about eight inches to a foot. Um, 
Last year, there was an area where we just had a small space left and I had a few extra tomato plants that I wanted like a second round of. So I actually just tossed them in there and it was only like a two by three foot area. And I put four plants in there and they were a little closer than normal, but they actually did amazing. I didn't trellis them either. So they all intertwined together. It was two different varieties. It was like a a small little cherry tomato mixed with like a pink Berkeley heirloom tomato. And those were actually some of our best tomatoes last year. Yeah, the performance, I agree. the growth, um, the, the productivity of the actual harvesting of them. Um, so we were actually kind of shocked by that because then there's like these beautiful tomatoes caged and they just don't even look as nice. And right. They, didn't they still produced really right. well, but um, the different, there was a little bit of a difference. So, yep. Oh, let's see here. So the, the paint stir. So I, I do have to sometimes redraw floor plans for work. Um, my, my, uh, drafting ruler, I forgot at the office. So I was wandering around the house yesterday thinking, what can I use for a straight edge to draw a plan and painting stick here? And it does yep. actually have a um, a ruler on it too. So. And we have one out in the open because um, I was working on Sayla's room. We were painting her trim white. We're changing it up from a little baby nursery to a big girl room. And um, we, we still have paint, but I was brushing it on the, on the trim and the second coat was leaving too many lines. So we really need a roller, but that was when all of this social distancing happened. So I haven't made it to the Home Depot yet. <laughs> Let's see here. So we've got a question. Whatever happened with birthday cake? Did you okay. end up keeping one of the kittens? Yeah. Guess that. Yep. Yeah. All right. So okay. So yeah, birthday cake. I thought you were talking about like, whatever happened to birthday cake? Because I'm going to be hopefully getting a birthday cake today. So, um, so birthday cake, we were going to keep her. Um, mm -hmm. That was the last remaining kitten. We ended up giving her to a loving home, a home that actually already had two of other kittens. Kids. So now there's three of them together. And we do keep in touch with, with Sandy and her yes. family quite often. Yes. Mm -hmm. She sends us updates. The cats have their own Instagram page. Yeah. So it's we, super get, cute. we get to see updates on them. So it's, it's really cool. And it just, the dynamic was better with just Fuzzy being a single cat yeah. as opposed to both mother or daughter. Well, Fuzzy and Birthday Cake together, they got along really well, but then they became non-social with everyone else. Yeah. It was um, th the other kitten that we called Cutie Face. He, I think, would have been a better match if we did end up keeping one. Um, he kind of had his own personality and didn't need reliance so much on Fuzzy and had fuzzy's personality almost to a t but the girls really wanted birthday cake but then as that dynamic started like not creating the right combination we decided you know hey you know maybe we need to find her a different home just so it's better for her and so i i immediately thought of sandy she actually follows us here on youtube and instagram we talk yeah. to her all the time she's become like a friend <clears throat> and um so we contacted her right away because like she is just such a loving person to those kittens. And um, and when we called her, she's like, well, she's like, are you guys sure you don't want to keep her at the cake? I'm like, well, I'm like, if you don't want to take her into your home, then we'll probably end up just keeping her. Because we don't want to just give her to anybody, right, you know? Right. So, um, so they're, was, yeah, I mean, all, all the, yeah, I mean, all the cats, they're, they're doing good. All three yeah, of them we get all updates good, actually from everyone just good recently. Houses, so. so they're all still living. They're all doing good. And, um, so, and oops. Fuzzy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? And Fuzzy I'm was. I'm going to have to go um, to the doctor for an eye. Uh. <laughs> Fuzz, well, if they're open. <laughs> and Fuzzy was um, fixed in December, like right before Christmas. So um, Allison uh, says her kids and her are watching. So hi to Allison hi. and her kids. Sayla, say hi. hi. There's some other kids watching. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got another question. So uh, Broadway Gardener asks, do you consider your garden a Potager garden is that what is that your design inspiration do you know what that means um not really okay so maybe if you want to comment back and explain so it's yeah. uh, p o t a g e r potager yeah I, I see that a lot because I do follow the um the potager garden um, by Arthur he's a young he's a young man and um, he's in oh, where was it was it um, 
Uh, Netherlands? I don't know. I might be completely wrong, but he just actually um, put out a gardening book. So um, I talk with him a lot on Instagram and he's, he's, that's what his is called. So I'm actually wondering. So what is, now. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's what she, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that one. So, yeah. um, someone says, so Miranda says, I've been thinking of starting a YouTube channel basically to journal the progress, but I feel shy about the baby stages. My yard is, and I would say that is so, more reason to do gosh, this because yes. if you, just for us alone, it's yes. so cool for us to be at, like yesterday, the girls wanted to watch videos of themselves and they wanted to watch some of the first ones that we ever did. Mm -hmm. So we got to put these videos on that Casey started doing um, three, let's, let's three just, four years let's ago. Let's just say we've come a long way. Yeah, but I mean, anyways. The, <laughs> we have to start the, somewhere. Yeah, but the girl, it was so cool to see the girls. Sayla was just walking just and Lana walking. was so little. It was yeah. so cool to see them yeah. at that stage. And I know that's different from yeah. gardening, but it's going to be the same thing. Like we can go well, back and and yeah. see our videos of everything and how it started and then how it is today. It's really cool to just go back for yourself yes. and, and see it. And too. when we first started doing video, we actually started doing um, live video on Facebook. So some of the first videos are actually downloaded videos of those lives and then put up. And some of the most Biggest questions and ongoing questions that we get now are, you know, um, do you have any videos on how you built your garden space or constructed the beds or did this or that? And it was all like pre-garden to where it would have been nice to have more. Oh, yeah. For reference. Yeah. To where do it now. And you if you're afraid about it or you're not getting a lot of subscribers like it doesn't matter because your subscribers will grow people will see you're doing great things it, starting a garden channel is a great thing to provide for people it's it's a positive thing and and you're giving people a lot that they can use in life and um starting it from the beginning is key cuz when you do grow that channel and work you know maybe it only take you one year maybe it'll take you five you know it doesn't matter but by that time you'll be able to be like yeah I got all kinds of videos of that starting. Right. And, so I would yeah. say do it for sure and don't be shy about it. It'll just be cool for you and others to see the, the process. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> somebody asks if we're going to be doing the pumpkins on a stick again. Um, I didn't seed them. Um, I'm so and, and, and where did you get the seeds for those? Um, those ones were from Johnny's. Or No, no, sorry. Um, those ones were from Park Seed. And the only reason why I cut those this year is because we added on um, more flowered varieties of different things. Like, so we've already done that. We've tried that. I like it, um, but we don't really have it in our plan to um, have this huge fall stand at the moment. Because if, if you've been following us, you know that we had pumpkin failures. And now we're having a new pumpkin patch. We're going to see how that goes. And right. then maybe we'll bring pumpkin on a stick back so that we, we have cool bouquets for that time of the year. But, I mean, for your own decorating purposes, it's awesome. It was yeah. really, really Sorry, cool. a little bit of parenting here for a second. Okay, Sayla, if you don't stop with that, I do have to take it away, okay? And we'll Can take you... a quarter from your jar. Yes, we'll talk about that in a future live or podcast. Yeah. It's been working great. Yeah. Um, it is an eggplant. <laughs> the pumpkin on a stick. Jason is, tried it. Is an eggplant. Uh, I tried it. The taste wasn't that great, but it was more, I mean, it did look really cool. It's they more do of like an like they do look like mini pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And throughout the whole winter, that was actually the only thing that we left up that kept its color, which was kind of yeah, nice. So that was pretty too. Well, that and the flowering kale. Flowering kale is like one of our number ones because it lasts, you know, even through the winter. Right. With color. Yeah. So. Um, so Allison, who's watching with her four and six Hi, year old, uh, she's asking how the playhouse is going and about the uh, the girls' garden space. All right. So the playhouse is cleaned out, but we have not done anything since other than continue to try to air it out. Yep. And we go <laughs> and we put it in its spot. Yep. It's in its spot. Kind of its spot. It might get yeah. moved a little bit, but uh, it's just close, maybe right? a little bit back. Um, but the next step for that would be for Jason to make a couple little repairs on it where it just seems like the wood's a little rotted and then we'll go ahead and we'll get it painted. And the playhouse we decided isn't going to just be a playhouse because they already have like their 
place set there with a couple little yeah. house things on it. So we're going to call it their, um, their little science room. So that's where they're going to keep their little garden tools, their bug catchers, bug yep. houses, bug and nets, all that kind of, all stuff that kind for, of stuff. Yeah. And they can bring all their little, like, you know, things that they find outdoors in there, use their little magnifying glasses. They can color whatever they find. And, um, just really like bring them closer to nature through that little, that little room and um, the garden space out there right now, we haven't even started anything with it. Yeah, it's, it's still too too wet out there, but as soon as it dries up a little bit, we'll, we'll be getting on it. And the yep. first thing we're gonna do is get some of the land prepped, get some cardboard put down for the areas yeah, that's that we're also gonna, gonna be. Yeah, that's also gonna act as the fruit garden. So we're gonna have blueberries and raspberries. We're moving our raspberry patch over there. And then two fruit trees, so an apple tree and a cherry tree. And then um, we're gonna we want some landscape gardens, but because that can get spendy. So for this year, we're just gonna add wildflower gardens, and they won't look fantastic in the beginning, but they'll still blossom yeah. for us throughout yep. the season, nice and. So Holly, thank you. She says our gardens are the prettiest she's ever seen. Well, thank, thank you, you. Holly. <laughs> that really means a lot. Um, someone asked, how did you get into gardening? Um, well, gardening, I've been doing my entire life. So I grew up on my family's vegetable farm and, um, someone came and said, yes, my dad, you know, Hey, can you grow me some flowers? And my dad's like, I'm a farmer. I don't grow flowers, but he did anyway. And he grew some extra and the flowers sold quicker than the vegetables. So every year they did less and less veggies and more and more greenhouses. And now today they're a really well-known garden center here in Southeast Wisconsin called Wayne Stars Greenhouses. And that's what I grew up in and working in my parents' business up until around the time that we had uh, our first daughter, Lana, about uh, six years ago. So, yep. And for, for me, so I was never into gardening until Casey and I met and got married and we had a, a house in the uh, city, a small yard, so there wasn't a whole lot to do there, but Casey kind of knew what she wanted to do back there to set it up. So she brought all the stuff home that we needed and kind of yeah. taught me how to, you know, just the basics, how to yeah. plant things. And plant, I, bed, I wasn't, bed. yeah, I mean, I wasn't like super into it when, um, when I first started doing it. <laughs> I don't think I really got into it until, um, we, we built our house here and created our own gardens. And now I just, I truly appreciate going out there and, and not thinking about anything else. That's the biggest thing for me is when I'm out there, anything work-wise yeah. kind of just like dissipates from my mind and yeah. I'm just focusing I on what it, I'm doing. I think it's just like, you know, connecting with nature too. It's just like a, it's, it's a feeling. And I think it's something that everybody should do every once in a while. Um, I think it relieves stress. Yeah. Yeah. And it's our time together too. So Yeah, that's the other nice. that's the cool the, the coolest thing right now I would say about it is that we get to do this as a family even with the girls. So um, on the weekends I'm not just like off doing my thing, Casey's doing her thing. It's like we're doing the thing that we love which is what we're doing together in yep. the yard. So yep. Yep. We, we love that yep. uh, and that the part projects of it. I so. like. I like designing. <laughs> Thank you Holly, you stay safe and healthy too. Um, gonna get some seeds started. Awesome, Miss Kim Key. Seeds? Okay, awesome. Yeah, yep. Get those seeds started Very because good. um, it'll keep you busy, keep your mind away from you know a lot of what's going on around all of us. So um, it's a positive thing to to do and interact with at this time right now. And um, I hope everyone is staying healthy. And um. Is there anything else that anybody would want us to discuss or have any questions for us? Um, I do want to say that um, this year we're going to be putting out um, a few extra videos. We're going to try to do a live every week with, you know, questions or a topic. And um, <laughs> sorry, Sayla's just, <laughs> Sayla's always, you know, trying to make people laugh and she does. She makes hey. us laugh all the time. So, um, <laughs> So, yeah, um, yeah, you go ahead with what you were talking about. We're going to try to consistently do more yeah, lives. Yeah, and um, we're also, we also start our own podcast called The Lawrence Garden Farm, just like our name here on the channel. Yep. And um, we talk about uh, gardening, family. We actually talk Marriage, about. Marriage. Yep, yep. Kids. All, all, the, all the nasty all stuff. All the <laughs> nitty gritty, dirty stuff. Um, but yeah, we, we talk about the construction and the design of our entire raised bed area because that that's been such a huge topic um, that people have had so many questions with. I 
I actually even discuss, you know, what our top three favorite flowers are and some of the varieties that draw in beneficial bugs and pollinators. Um, we discuss so many things on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much anything. So yeah. let me just see if there's a few. So we do have a definition for the Pottinger Garden. It's basically a French style kitchen garden incorporating flowers and vegetables intentionally to create specific eye-catching lines. Daddy. Well then, yes. Well then, I guess that's definitely that's our style. You nailed it. <laughs> um, and I think that was that was just Casey's style and who she is without even knowing yeah. um, what that was. But that. Hits the nail right on the head there. Yeah, and so the reason for our design, and this is something I really never discussed um, when we designed this area, it was just all lawn. And um, as a child, like gardening wasn't always fun for me. It was a chore and it was work and it was all the time. So it was never like a place where I'd be like, oh yeah, I want to hang out there. No, it was like, hey, let's get out to work. We got to water this. We got to seed this or we got to pick this. Or, you know, it was always like, boom, boom, boom. It was like a family business. Yep, you yep. know, it was never like just a life. It was never like garden life. It was never clean. It was, you know, it wasn't, I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, I wanted to create a space where we could do gardening because I enjoy gardening. Um, but I wanted to create it in a way where we could all enjoy it, even have the kids connect. Like that was one of my biggest things was being able to have the kids connect and make it our, our, our outdoor living space. So that way it's not just the garden on the other side of the property. And it's the place where nobody wants to go because it's just work and weeds. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, oh, the hot sun. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And um, that's my whole reason is is because of family bringing us. I wanted to use gardening to bring us together. And luckily, um, everyone liked it. So yeah. now I've got good yep. help. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Good to see you. By the way, I love your thumbnail on all your profiles. Oh, I, I love it. Yeah. So, Tracy, whenever you comment, I'm always like, yeah. Yeah. Like it's like, super hype. And yeah, uh, I, love I love it. it. Yeah. So that's, that's actually a really good idea because it gives you the feeling of, Whenever we read one of your comments, like yeah. super positive, yeah. exciting, upbeat. Yeah, and like she's crushing That's it. how we she's are. So it. <laughs> love it. Uh, let's see. Who I skipped a couple. Uh, I'm watching your channel. It's nice to watch a garden channel that isn't cattle panels and pallets. I want a more manicured yard like yours. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you. And, and that's kind of what we want. We do have our wild areas because obviously we can't maintain it all. That would be like a uh, back break. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so yeah. much. Joel, you're watching on your lunch break. That's awesome. Thanks for <laughs> taking your time to, yeah. to spend with, with little old us. Which we means you're, uh, you're at work. Ooh. So stay healthy. Stay so healthy. two. Okay. So what grows better for you? Yellow summer squash or zucchini? I think I know the answer to this. Go ahead. Is it zucchini? Yes. They pretty much, yeah. They're well, they're I like mean, yellow summer squash grows well, but um, I always feel like I get more issues with powdery mildew on it, depending on like the varieties. But for me, that's that's just how it is. But we do directly seed it. I've I've done where I've seeded it before and planted it, whether it's zucchini or squ other squash, yellow squash. And um, I've also done where I've directly seeded it. And the one that's directly seeded always outperforms than the one that I seed start in the house and start a plant with and plant into the garden. So yeah. that's why we like it that, that way. Um, somebody, somebody asked how we met. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh oh, do you want to tell them? No, I kidding. don't know. I would hope we would never have to talk about this. But oh, no. <laughs> um, it was at my twenty third birthday party. So, um, my sister uh, Jennifer, she um, had just recently got married a couple years before, and her and her husband had a house. And his side hustle is a DJ business, so they redid their basement and they had parties all the time, um, which is family. Now we're not crazy like that, but um, so <laughs> I wanted to have my 23rd birthday party at her house and then go bar hopping after. So um, Jennifer's like, yeah, we, we had this mutual friend called Nick and, I, and she's like, yeah, Nick's coming. He's bringing his friend, Jason Lawrence. And I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. So I went to school with Jason's brothers and um you know, so I knew his brothers, but I had never seen or met Jason right. before. Yeah. And so, and he didn't even know that I No, no, I knew him. her older sister, but I did not even know that they had a younger sister. Because he went to school so. with them. So, right. um, so as soon as he shows up, 
I mean, I'm already, I already had a couple, you know, drinks and I'm literally <laughs> riding her dog. She, she had a drink in, in the hand and they had um, their lab name Yogi and she was, you know, the, everybody was like kind of dancing. Well, maybe not everybody, but Casey was. <laughs> <laughs> and she was, was kind of like ride, riding the dog. And I was like, oh, wow, who is that hot girl? <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah. And she's having fun. I'm yeah. like, I like this, you know? So, um, yeah. And my sister's like, Casey, get off the dog and come over here and meet him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, so I had no idea what I was, you know, walking into when, uh, when we got there. I went with, like she said, my friend Nick. Yeah. And... We got downstairs and I was playing pool and just kept looking over I still remember what he was wearing and, too. And uh, I do too. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, you were wearing a, a beautiful dress. I was. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I remember too, like, as I'm riding this dog, it's like in slow motion, you know, <laughs> and I like all of a sudden see like, they have like these basement steps where you see like people's feet first. And all I see <laughs> are like these like feet coming down the stairs, like these brown, I've like seen these style feet shoes before. and hmm. jeans and a little fringe on the bottom and then I uh, like you know all of a sudden I see a t-shirt with a long sleeve underneath and all of a sudden there he is and I'm like oh yeah as I'm as I'm like drinking on the dog I'm like oh yeah <laughs> so yeah that I mean we just started uh, I was playing pool we started talking yeah, and then we, just talked. we decided that we were going to go out mm -hmm. um that was the original plan we went snowboarding for yep. our first date and um that was really fun and yeah then yep. ever, snowboarding was something I was really into and um, when we went out to the um, to the bars after the birthday party, mm -hmm. the bar that we went to had the X Games on, and so um, we were both kind of you know like watching together and talking. So that's it had some implication on the on yeah. Because I said there. I wanted to learn how to snowboard. He's like, I could take you snowboarding. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was but, a great yeah. first so, day. And then ever yeah. since then, I Maybe, would say yeah. we were pretty much inseparable. Yeah. So. Yep, and then a year later we were married. We got engaged, and a month later we got married in my in a greenhouse. In How a green about house. that? <laughs> <laughs> what other venue could you book in a month? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. so but things have really here. tamed down since then. That's okay, um, I would though. love to learn about your thought process and how you design your space and future growth. So we actually just did a podcast yesterday on how we designed our entire garden space. So our podcast. If yep. you you can find it on um, iTunes, right? Any of Apple. the any of the uh, Apple, any of the podcast platforms, and we even it's called, got it up on Stitcher now yep. too. So it's called the Lawrence Garden Farm, and the episode eight, I think, mm -hmm. that we yeah. did yesterday is all about how we designed our our garden process there. Yep, so, and one thing I do want to include is um, another part of that question was for future growth, right? Yes. Yep. So we didn't discuss the future growth like what we did to design it for future growth. And um, when you take an aerial view of the gardening space, which we show aerial views on um, uh, my Instagram and Jason's Instagram, yeah. if it's at Casey Lynn Lawrence and then at J Chris Lawrence, um, we show like you see a lot of gravel in the middle between the garden oasis one yeah, and two. And that's because there's yeah, actually a driveway in between so we kept that driveway in between so we can bring in any trucks if ever needed we can bring in you know dump trucks with soil or garden materials or um, tree trucks so that's why we designed it with the big driveway as soon as we're done with like creating the garden space when we're 80 <laughs> yeah, we'll never be finished. <laughs> then we'll close in the driveway. But the driveway is nice because it's nice to just take the ranger and go for a drive and zip yep. right through. And the we gardens. can put, you know, when we had our, our photo shoot for Country Gardens magazine, it's a big open area there. So Casey put the like outdoor table that we yeah. had there mm -hmm. and kind of staged that whole area as a big sitting area, which is kind of nice because it's next yeah. to our or uh, fire pit area. There, yeah, so. once we're not doing, you know, big dirty parts of the project anymore, then we put down the area rug and the dining table. So that becomes like another centered area where we can hang out. And we're actually talking about um, doing one of those um, 
you got you guys probably have seen those those potty mats for dogs they now make them like huge as area rugs or backyard rugs. right so it looks like a big patch of grass yeah and it and, and it just everything goes through it all the water goes through it so it doesn't get any mold or icky or anything so we were thinking about doing a really long one right there but we'll have to see what happens with all this virus yeah and, either either way we'll be doing some know. cool stuff we'll be working hard we'll be showing it all yep um i think that's i mean is that uh is there anything else that we want to talk about or uh, no, if, if there's any other comments we can yeah. um we'll go back through and answer them in the in the comments so yep and um, then uh we'll be trying to do a live every week so if you have any questions feel yeah. free to uh you know let us know when we when we come live so. yeah well thanks for everybody who joined us we really yeah, appreciate it and uh we'll try to maybe come up with like a consistent day and time that we do this so that it so that you know when it's going to be happening but either way we're going to be doing them more often now yep yep so um in every wednesday morning um or every wednesday we have a brand new podcast we've been able to put out more recently just because jason's working from home but you can always rely on us for an every wednesday podcast and those ones the wednesday ones are more garden oriented and everything else in between is garden and family right. together so. yeah all right, everybody. We love you. Yep. Stay Thank safe. You. Stay Thank healthy. Thank you so much for watching and for and all of your support. The world will keep spinning. We'll yep. get through this. And together. Yeah. So, all right. All right. Take care. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. I still have to double click. Yes, I want to end this. Oh, yeah, you do.